of YouTube, this is Wasted Ono, and this is the new HTC Sense 6. As you can see, my uh, phone went off there. But yes, this is the new Sense 6. As you can see, my battery is charging. I'm using the Mophie, uh, the Mophie battery pack charger. Uh, definitely, I do have a video on this link down below. Uh, so definitely let's get back into the review in my last video I did like a, a little quick review on the Sense6 and what do I think about it? Now as far as battery life goes, I've been testing it and it, it's been absorbing like a lot of battery even though I um, I do not use it. Uh, it's been you know Just laying there and yeah, it's been sucking out battery. I guess it's because it's always the Wi-Fi and the um, the cell antenna receiver firmware, I guess. I don't know what you might want to call it. Definitely, it, it got an upgrade. So, with that said, look, see, you know, it looks better. You get, instead of it, the bottom, the, where the phone, the icons, instead of it being a solid black bar, now it's transparent, so you can actually see what's going on in the background. Um, as far as the blink feed, it's actually been improved, but I do kind of like that locking feature where, you know, you just kind of want to skim through and for some reason you see something, but yeah, that locking feature, has now gone away and it's gone a lot smoother. So I do like it, you know, it's pretty cool. I like the the fact that, you know, everything now is borderline uh, before like all of the, the news articles or depending on what you wanna see, uh, you know, they looked all together, like, you know, the pictures and everything all connected together and didn't have borders of like what you see now. Uh, another thing that's changed is the fact on how you get to share. The sharing button is now on the top as long as the, as well as the read later. So if you like to save this article for later, you get to press the icon on the top. And if you want to share it, as always, click the share button. Uh, it's no longer on the bottom. I remember it used to be in on the bottom. You get to either share or, uh, read it later that was something new that that you know the previous update this has actually gotten a lot better before it was it, you know it was kind of tough getting this out or you know if you got it out it was quite annoying to have but this has gotten a lot better um you know again when it comes to you know flipping it's pretty awesome so yes Definitely the mail has changed as you can see it don't it no longer uh, shows certain features or certain things that you wouldn't um, see like on the top you would get the specific color depending on what you're looking at you know you get a color for it but now it seems that all the mail gets the color so as you can see only the subject is the is what changes and that is how that looks the phone has changed you know basically you get like a new uh you get new cool features with the phone as you can see the dial pad has changed it looks much sleeker uh, as far as pictures go it kind of sucks and i'm gonna show you here this is a nighttime picture that i kind of took and it you know as you can see it looks okay, but then I'm going to go ahead and show you another one and see. This is what I try to take a, a, a picture of the city skylight. And as you can see, it's blue. And it keeps on going and going. So camera-wise for nighttime pictures is not really cool if you're trying to take far away pictures. As you can see, right here is the Empire State Building. And this over here where my thumb is at is supposed to be the World Trade Center or the the Freedom Tower. And, uh, you know, trying to take various pictures. Right here is an airplane, which is kind of funny. It looks kind of like a UFO. 
But these are the nighttime pictures, you know, as far as that goes, you know, trying to take far away still nighttime pictures. That's how it actually shows. You can see this one is a little bit worse because I'm trying to take one as I was farther away. Like I try to zoom out and it didn't go the way it was planned. Now, daytime pictures is sort of different. You know, daytime pictures is pretty awesome. It was clear, as you can see here. These are the daytime pictures. So when it comes to taking daytime pictures, it's quite different as it's taking night. As you can see, there goes the, uh, the sundown. And there was one where I actually took... See... Right here is where my thumb is at. It's supposed to be an airplane. And it kind of took, you know, the picture quite well as far as the airplane goes. As you can see, uh, there goes the airplane. And that that's basically my daytime pictures. So as far as pictures goes, yes, you know, nighttime got worse. Um, as you can see, look, uh, oh, yeah, there it goes. Uh, I don't know how to take a self of myself, but you get this options. You get these options when you go into the camera. Now there's a selfie mode, which actually activates the front camera. You get the regular camera, which activates the back camera. And you also get the video as always, but there's a new one, Zoe camera. If you was to push this, Zoe camera now takes these panoramic pictures or um, these kind of sort of what I call GIFs. Uh, it's a picture that moves that keeps on moving. So I guess it's a it's a JPEG GIF. So uh, the new Zoe feature, it kind of changed. I remember Zoe being on the top whenever you uh, take a picture. There used to be an icon on the top. It was a Zoe on it. But now you get to do one of these. And yes, I am in a laundry room. So you get to do one of these. As you can see, I am now recording. As I just held my thumb on a record button and... Now I'm recording until I want to stop it. Now I stopped it and there we go. I get this little Zoe picture. So let's go ahead and play it. So you can see the Zoe is doing its thing. And if I wanted to, I can go ahead and take the best picture and save it and say, yes, this was the best picture that I took in my panoramic movie. So, yeah, as far as that goes, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Gallery got a new improvement, as you can see. Um, gallery, this is what it is. You get a timeline, a timeline of basically all the pictures that you took within your day. You could either go on a specific date or whatever and as always privacy is always an issue so location where you took the pictures is also there um there's kind of new icons that htc put up for the htc apps htc backup and as you can see the htc guide um there's a new feature that they added which was flashlight i got to post it in my quick video on it and flashlight is basically something that should have been added or something that was cool enough. I guess HTC decided uh, Apple with their applications on light is pretty cool, but you hit the power button on the light uh, flashlight application, the HTC flashlight, um, as you can see, I don't know, zooming in, it says HTC on it. And you get to push the power button and it turns on the light. Depending on how high, you, how high or how bright you want it, that's basically it. And then you get the Zoe application, which 
for some reason it says coming soon and if you press on it if you uh, check for updates supposedly it takes you to the Android store where you can go ahead and download the Zoe application but as for now it's unavailable so that's that um, the icons in the settings have changed let me go to it if I go I don't know everything is green before it used to be blue but now it's green and as you can see everything has become a boldish black except for the uh, beats icon that's always red but everything else just turned black and white uh, I don't know what I can actually put other than a little bit of music but I can't put too much on it so let me go ahead and try and as you can see the beats icon as well is no longer uh, red it's now white so as you can see that's also changed music really got a big upgrade as I showed you but I can't show you that much due to copyright it's always a copyright issue um, but yes, all of that has changed battery wise. Uh, again, settings in the battery is always important for everybody. So quite a disappointment is that with every new feature and update more smoother, sleeker, battery is always an issue. So yes, it does hog it, but HTC didn't really rule you out as they put an extreme power saving mode. I guess if it hogs too much battery, you can actually turn that feature on and it will save you like the most battery ever. As you can see, I show 12 hours on a battery. If I click on it, it shows you from where did I uh, start peaking what started using what and as you can see Wi-Fi is always an issue and so is mobile strength everything else when it's awake and asleep it doesn't really take that much battery life but with the improvement of the battery Wi-Fi receiver and the mobile you kind of get the fluctuations of how your battery now depletes itself uh, everything else yet yeah, it's just a lot smoother. I kind of do not like the fact that this is here now. Um, I like the I like it the way it was. Uh, kind of, there's a few things that HTC needs to learn when it becomes user friendly and uh, user experience is that you kind of want to have certain features that you had before, even though HTC has commented that with every new innovation, you have to try new things. So um, definitely the removal of certain features has to be done so that way the user can experience the new and uh, great innovations that HTC wants to bring. So with that said, they removed the the time and the, the, the little weather icon off of the applications folder and they put back the apps, whatever. And really nothing has changed on it. Um, what can I say extra about it? But that part should have been part of the user. If the user likes it, you know, yeah, let them keep it. But if the user doesn't like the weather app, they can go ahead and remove it. That's something that should have been thought of, like to be like, all right, you know, if the user likes it, he'll keep it. If not, you know, we'll give them the experience that they could go ahead and adjust, um, adjust it to their liking. Because as you can see, I kind of like this here. Uh, you know, I kind of do like to browse my applications folder a lot and when it comes to the time and weather Kind of like to go to it instead of actually hitting the home and then reading the news But yep, that's basically it ladies and gentlemen uh, I did try to cover as much as I can on it and I will be covering more new features and tips that I might see on it, but 
If you haven't updated to the new HTC Sense 6, if you're still on that 5.5, definitely go to your settings, check for updates, and you should be on top. If you cannot get this update, then do definitely leave a comment down below and I'll let you know how to actually force update the phone. And for that, I thank you guys all for watching and do stay tuned for more and new little tips on the HTC ones. So happy weekend to you guys and I'll see you and talk to you soon. Peace.